Wigan Athletic versus Middlesbrough in the EFL Championship after Borough come into this game on the back of two wins in a row, winning 1-0 at Blackburn Rovers, thanks to British Sambalonga's bullet header, and then winning 2-0 at home to QPR, who beat Leeds midweek, which is a big result for Borough. This is a chance for us to possibly, if we can, go fourth place in the table. We could be climbing up, and at the minute, we're, we're on a winning streak. Can we continue it against a tough Wigan side? It's not going to be easy, as we all know. Um, but we're going to have to stick at home. Have been decent, but at the moment they seem to be struggling without their star man, Will Grigg, as Will Grigg went to Sunderland in the January transfer window. Intriguing contest. It's a struggling Wigan side who lost 2 0 at the Riverside Stadium in the reverse fixture against a Borough team that are flying high in the league and are in the top six. Today we're joined by a guest who's making his debut on the channel. So I'd like to say welcome to the channel. Uh, Miles from Vlogger FC. Check out his channel. Link will be in the description. What would you like to say, mate? A uh, hard game for Bubba. Uh, especially if we don't start a strong team, because if they get on the front foot at the start of the game, then I think we will struggle. Mhm. Mm um, but as as you said at the start, we will we gone. I think in the last three, especially as now we do have all of our defence back to fit form, I'm pretty sure. I think it will be very, very hard to break us down. And if they do, then I'm sure it will be a counter attack or something. I agree. I think I think we've been playing a lot of counter attacking football. I felt I felt against QPR. I felt a lot of the team did brilliant. I felt Dale Fry even had a good game of defence. Um, I also felt Johnny Alston had a decent game. Obviously scoring a goal. We seem to be putting some long balls down the field, and I'm not sure whether this is what everyone calls the hoof ball tactic. I've noticed at times that there's times where it works, and there's times where you put long balls down the field and they go straight into the away fans. Do you think it's a good idea putting long balls down the field all the time? Or do you think we should just be playing more ticky-tacky football? Well, I mean, with Wigan, I feel like they are the best of sides in the championship. But I feel like it depends on what football the opposition are playing. If they're playing tight, pressure football like Aston Villa do, then we shouldn't be doing that. Because that means that we lose possession, that they can count. Well, not necessarily count attack, but that means then... We stay in our positions, we don't get any of the ball and we don't create any chances from that. Mm. So I do feel like it would be better was playing ticky tacky footballs and long balls. Yeah, I think, you know, a lot of the game is mainly down to possession. Of course we like to dominate possession at times, obviously at the same time we want to dominate the opposition in shots as well and obviously goals. But I think possession's all about all all, you know, all the makings of the goals and stuff. And I think, yeah. you know, you look you look at teams like City, for example. They do a lot of passing in the build-up to the goal. That's what we need to do. And I agree, Wigan, Wigan are a team that aren't very easy to break down defensively. However, Borough yeah. have one of the strongest defences in the league. And I would say we've probably got a, better, a much stronger defence than Leeds, which is saying a lot, but... For me, I think, yeah, I do think it'd be tough. I'm looking forward to it. Obviously, it should be an entertaining game. It'd be pretty and fall in mind. But um, just finally, finally, Miles, uh, what's your prediction for the game and who do you think's going to score? I think it's going to be 2-1 to Borough. And I think um, Brett Sumbalonga and George Savlin. I've said this quite a few times, but hopefully Borough do turn up to this game mm. and get the one. Fair enough, fair enough. My prediction for the Borough game is actually 1-0. I think it's going to be a slender margin. I think it's going to be tight. I think it's going to be like we saw at Blackburn. Because at Blackburn, we had about 26 shots. Um, but we can't take our chances. And that's the one issue of us. So that's why I think we'll only win by one goal if we do win. I think we'll keep a clean sheet. I do think we'll keep a clean sheet. Because our defence is strong enough. Yeah. I'm not, not sure the updates on... Uh, Flint and Friend um, and obviously hopefully they'll be back but like I say I think it's going to be an interesting game your predictions are open till 3pm as obviously I'm going to be at the mask game but 
I'll be able to close the predictions because it has better internet than Riverside. Um, so your predictions will be up until 3 p.m. on Saturday. Miles, thank you very much for coming on and making your debut. Is there any final things you want to say? Um, I would say please like and subscribe to this man. He's an amazing man and he deserves to go far on YouTube. So that's from me. Yep, no problem, mate. And obviously do check out Vlogger FC in the link in the description. I'll probably be, um, obviously, you know, sending a clip into his vlog with my prediction and stuff. So do go check it out. Some really good content. And he is, obviously, he's lone subscribers. Um, so you can't, you know, you can't not help a friend out. So uh, thank you for coming on, Miles. It's been an absolute pleasure. Let's hope we can get to win on Saturday of the Bowl Labs.